This holiday season has left a void in the hearts of the mothers of the Henry cousins, Joel and Isaiah, who were brutally killed at West Coast Boobies. For Gail Johnson, Christmas without her son has invoked the wounds he suffered. Joel would have celebrated his birthday on the 24th of December, the day after his mother would have celebrated hers. She said that was her Christmas gift, the pain and the hurt that she is still struggling to overcome. I can't explain because it's very artful. There is no explanation in it because it's over. Until last night I was crying. I cry each day of my life for Joel. And I call his name each day. Sometimes I go for call one of the, the other ch children and I call for Joel. Because Joel was the one was living with me, was with me all the time. When the rest was gone and work and so, Joel was there. He would cook for me. He would clean. He would say, Mommy, go and sit down or go and take your bed. You know, because you know our feeling. And it is very hurtful. Isaiah's mother, Patricia Henry, said she cries herself to sleep at night as she ponders on what could have gotten into the heads of another human to be so heartless to another. I don't have a Christmas and from since Isaiah gone, he missing the house because every time you turn, I have to pass Isaiah's room to go to my room. You don't see, every turn you turn, Isaiah is not there. And I miss my son. If my son go anywhere and he have thousand dollars, he bring five hundred dollars, mommy, you take this, he give his sister two hundred dollars. Children like that you miss. I miss my son on his birthday. He did wish to celebrate his birthday with his friend, he was not there. And that will be his seventeen birthday, he's not there. And parents out there, women out there that have children butter like this, how they will take it, how they will feel about it towards it. It's hard. I cry myself to sleep because Isaiah is nowhere. Both mothers are disappointed that justice appears to be a long shot away. Well, I can't really say. The reason why I can say I don't know the heart of them. I can only see the outward looks. But to me, if they really want to solve this crime, they would find the person because they actually know his own. I don't, I don't know what to believe anymore. Because right now, the presidency will have no stone unturned. And they know who do the murder and they don't want to pick him up. They know who. And there is not all. They will call you and molest you on the phone. They will send threat message to you. They will come and vomit the car in front of you. Stop looking in the pit, take the pick up, they will look into the yard, see one who in the yard, go back. The children, if I have a 12 years old, he cannot go to school on his own. You're fair to live in your own place. And I say it's not a fighting by Joel, they don't fight. They don't, he's not fighting, you go and search and ask anybody, they will tell you there's not no children, not, you got to be afraid of them. All I want is justice for my son. Or in return, if they could bring him back alive to me, is okay.